CES isn't really a mobile show, although there's always a smartphone or two that decides to break cover and avoid the barrage of similar devices at phone-centric shows like MWC. This year, both Samsung and OnePlus had important phones to show off, while companies like Asus continue to push the boundaries of tablets and laptops. Let's take a closer look at the best mobile and tablet devices that CES 2022 had to offer. And let's start with the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. Samsung's latest flagship without frills is launching at $100 less than the original Galaxy S21, and that's meant a few corners had to be cut. That said, you still get the same 5 nanometer processors, same 120Hz refresh rate on a slightly larger screen no less, and a similar triple camera system. The S21 FE has a larger battery too. Its style is a little bit more restrained however, with no shiny camera module to catch the eye. The biggest difference compared to last year's S21 is probably the camera layout, and it's a mixed bag. The FE's ultra-wide lens has a slightly wider field of view at 123 degrees, while the FE's telephoto camera uses a smaller 8 megapixel sensor compared to the S21's 64 megapixel telephoto. The fan edition also has a higher resolution selfie camera, 32 megapixels, if that's important to you. The only issue for Samsung is it's launching a cheaper flagship device, presumably only a few months before it reveals its 2022 flagship. Talking of flagships, then there's OnePlus. It wanted to reveal the OnePlus 10 Pro at CES, but due to COVID concerns, withdrew its in-person plans. It did, however, reveal most, if not all, of the details on its new smartphone. The 10 Pro will feature a similar camera layout to the OnePlus 9 Pro, with 48 and 50 megapixel sensors alongside an additional 8 megapixel telephoto. The company is building up hype around its Hasselblad collaboration, promising a new RAW Plus format which sounds at least similar to Apple's Pro RAW format. This should combine the computational photography skills we're used to on our smartphones with the data-rich editing capabilities of RAW files. All three cameras will be able to shoot using a new Hasselblad Pro mode to capture 12-bit RAW files. The assistance from Hasselblad also includes its color know-how. The cameras will be able to capture 10-bit color for less color banding and smoother shading. It will also be one of the first phones to land with Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and faster 50-watt wireless charging, if you have a wireless charger capable of that. It's set to launch January 11th in China, but as of this time, pricing is still TBC. For once at a trade show, the tablets were arguably more interesting than the phones. It was pretty rare to see a buy the number slate. Let's start with Asus's Zenbook 17 Fold. It's a 17 inch OLED tablet that can fold in half and even disguise itself as a 12.5 inch laptop with a Bluetooth keyboard resting on the lower half of the screen. The Fold might seem familiar to a few of you. Asus first revealed this form factor as Project Precog, a developmental prototype back in 2018. Now it's ready for prime time. Folded out, the 17.3 inch display has a 4x3 aspect ratio, QHD resolution of 2560 by 1920 and up to 90 Hz refresh rate. Running Windows 11, you'll be able to use it half folded, propped up or simply as a uh, pretty big tablet. No word on pricing, but the company expects to launch the device in May. Asus's Game Arm, Republic of Gamers, is offering an entirely different tablet proposition, one aimed at mobile PC gaming. The Flow Z13 tablet is an evolution of the Flow X13, but it looks an awful lot like a Microsoft Surface. It has Intel's new 12th generation processors and will support up to NVIDIA's RTX 3050 Ti. It can even connect to Asus's mobile external GPU, which supports AMD's Radeon RXM and NVIDIA's mobile RTX 30 series. Useful if you really want this to be a true gaming PC. Now, despite this form factor, there's also still plenty of ports. One USB Type-A connection as well as two USB Type-C ports, not forgetting that XG connection for external GPUs. There's also a micro SD card slot just because there is. Expect to hear more later this year. Rounding out the best tablets, it's a surprise appearance by TCL, which has quietly been launching devices at CES for several years. From well-regarded TVs through to very cheap smartphones that are finally finding their way to US stores. Its latest tablet, the Next Paper 10S, 
might look like most other tablets, but we're intrigued by the next paper's screen, a coloured matte LCD. TCL uses a special low-power reflective LCD to aid reading and reduce power consumption, and that paper-like screen should go very nicely with its companion stylus. The only issue, and one we've had since the last iteration of this tablet, is the sluggish screen refresh rates, especially if you've been spoiled by recent phones, tablets, and even laptop screens. If you're intrigued, the tablet launches later this month in Europe and China, priced at $249. That was the best mobiles and tablets at CES, but what about TVs or gaming or cars? Well, check out all the curated highlights from CES 2022 at Engadget.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and reach out in the comments with your favourite reveal at CES this year. I liked that e-paper BMW.